wonders that shall never ever end most especially when it comes to anything to do with the Windsorers, that institution, the royal family at large, trust me, wonders shall never end. Ask me why, because it was very much clear Harry was willing to meet up with his father during his stay in the UK during the 10th year anniversary. But it turned out that Charles was so busy. It turned out that Charles had a fixed schedule. Now they are out and about yapping and saying of how, you know, Prince Harry was heartful to his dad by issuing the no meeting statement. If he hadn't done that, you would have said it is his fault that he never wanted her to, to meet up with his father. If he never did that and came out clean, they would have turned all the story against him. But Harry being the man he is, and knowing what he wants, knowing the person he is, he decided to do the right thing. They just need to come to acceptance and get this old memo because essentially they have gotten the message clear by now. Harry is saying, you will not use me as a, a scapegoat anymore. Any lie you put out uh, will be dampened publicly by me. And uh, that uh, really bothers Charles and he's a rotter. One thing that's done, it's good King Harry. Harry truly has a backbone. Harry knows what he wants. Harry is a true leader. He doesn't have to do things behind the scenes or do anything that, you know, it's not worth it, not right, not good. Not just wanting to kind of get attention or wanting to please people. That's definitely not Harry. Because one thing that's very much evident is so somebody said and said, those people are truly evil. They never treat Harry as a human being. Why is it okay for Charles to be hurtful to Harry? By allowing the rotter to lie and taint Harry. But when Harry dampiers the lies, he has been hurtful to Charles. Like how? I thought it needs to be a two-way traffic thing. Like you don't love me, I don't love you too. When, uh, you know, it's the other way around. You tend to always done everything against me. It's very bizarre. Very absurd. I don't know what will make them... Uh, Learn about one thing that I bet is very, very much evident and so clear, apart from them bringing about this whole story that Charles is hurt about Harry releasing the statement to the public, is that Charles is hurt that Prince Harry is loved and can control his narrative now. That's what hurts Charles the most. Nothing much. It's just them always trying to use or always trying to just act like the victim ones wanting to play like the victim ones over and over and over again that's one thing they've gotten so better in and harry's statement was actually kind of his you know because it was very brief straight to the point and it was just clear if you got to read it because i did uh, that story i know you know what we're talking about the only thing charles is hurt by is that he can't lie and manipulate at a will without harry politely setting the record straight he can't he can't and that's it that's a fact there's nothing that can be done that's that's it like literally that's it there's no better word to, you know, explain all this. And it's not them who are supposed to be hurt with anything. The only person who's supposed to be hurt here in real sense, it's Harry and Megan. They've been through a lot. They've been through thick and thin. They've been through hell. And it's just because of all of them. It's always them always wanting to get sympathy always wanting this whole PR stunt thing and be like, you know what, you guys are just something else or on another level. Let me just take you through an article written by Kazir and let's get to see what Kazir had to say. King Charles grows more diabolically by the day, at least according to the nut jobs trying to defend him 
I don't even know what to call it. That whole month long over. Prince Harry's three-day visit in the UK. Harry knew what he was doing when he issued his simple and gracious statement about how he would not see his father during his visit because uh, his father was too busy. Harry putting that out there on the record ruined Charles snubbing Harry. Plans in real time and set off a one-sided briefing war in which Charles and his courtiers have not been able to keep their stories straight from one day to the next. Currently, we have been told that Charles would have made time for Harry. Maybe. If only Harry agreed to put himself in a dangerous situation with no security. Now, monarchy star Nat Jobs in greed, Ingrid Seward is crying about how King Charles is terribly hurt by Harry's statements and Harry's move to keep himself safe. Seward is indefinitely painting Charles as particularly like that's one thing they've gotten better. And I'm loving the fact that Harry and Meghan will always continue to prove them wrong. They'll do that over and over and over again. Trust me. They'll do that without giving a second thought because what's there to hide? What's there to hide that we can't talk about? Like, that's it. They did what they did. I'm not surprised. It's so unfortunate, but it's always them who always want to be pictured, you know, as the good ones here, as the angel ones. But in real terms, we all can tell. After all this, after everything, they can't just convince people otherwise i generally felt sick to my stomach at this publicly gaslighting in quote harry's unfounded security wars and in quote the king was aware harry had no uk bass he could not fail to be aware harry was undoubtedly anxious about security charles is the reason why harry is no UK best, having evicted his son and grandchildren from their family home in the UK. Charles is also the reason why Harry's royal protection is non-existent in the UK, because Charles has never made those arrangements before to ensure that the Tsar success are fully protected whenever they visit. Charles orchestrated Harry's lack of safety and Harry's, uh, you know, homelessness in the UK, then blames Harry for not wanting to put himself in an unsafe situation for a father who refused to schedule a meeting with him. Not only that, I'm deeply uncomfortable with the palace repeatedly briefing the media about Harry's logans in the UK. The palace is uh, maybe one week away from naming the hotel where Harry has stayed in his recent visits. But I'm loving the fact that everything is working so right, working so well for Harry out there. No matter how hard they try, they can never be able to pin him down. It's always, uh, you know... Harry and Meghan, them being taken advantage of. They thought that they'll continue having a scapegoat of their horn. Little did they know Harry and Meghan were going to put that to an end. And yes, it did happen. For them being hurt, we're like, you know what? You haven't seen it yet because you'll get hurt. Harry and Meghan haven't started making moves yet. Trust me, it's not going to be the same for them. That's from my own perspective. I don't know what's your take on this. Kindly just let me know your thoughts on the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next videos.